Is there some case, like Judge Johnstone might have said, some case that seems like a little case that really impacted you, you know, in terms of who, the man who you are, I the think, man who you I think become. above all else is a little known case that I took in 2004 and filed in 2004 at the same time I filed the suit against the Vatican. It was a lawsuit on behalf of 44 women who were abused at the St. Thomas St. Vincent Orphanage run by the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth. It was the only successful lawsuit and to this day is the only successful sexual abuse lawsuit against a Catholic orphanage in America and I am very most proud of that result. And again, it wasn't lucrative, it was never gonna be. There wasn't any insurance to cover the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth. And uh, why I mention that and why that's important is because I, I, I thought I had seen all the ugliness that the world had to demonstrate and show. But the abuse perpetrated by these nuns, one case was far uglier than all 250 victims of the pre-sex abuse cases. The, the, the terror, the meanness, the ugliness that was, 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 was foisted on these children who could not escape, couldn't go home, even to cry themselves into their own pillow at night. They were captives in a world of, of the darkest, most ugly part of humanity. And nothing in my career touches the impact that those 44 cases have had on me. And that was in 2004. Yes. And there was a book written by Kim Michelle Richardson who was in the orphanage. She wrote this book called The Unbreakable Child, which recounts the story of my representing her in that. And um, she does a very courageous job of, of painting the background of the ugliness, but to spare the reader just goes only so far. But the book is so disturbing. I mean, and I get people contact me all over having read this book and, and the impact it, it, it has. Uh, the stories that, that I just, they, they, they're nightmarish. What was done to these little girls at the hands of nuns, you just can't believe. I mean, this is not, I mean, there was, uh, Father Lammers was the priest, the resident priest there, and he had this routine with the nuns who would dress up a little girl four years of age in a you know, white gown and slippers and, and be taken to his, his chambers every night and a new one each night, and, uh, and then they would be beaten when they would cry and, and wet the bed, and then they would be tied to the bed, and, and, and that was just Lammers. These nuns were so physically abusive of these children in a sexual way, you can't, uh, you can't even talk about what it. What years was, it, was this happening, in the 50s? This was, this was, it began when they consolidated St. Thomas and St. Vincent out in Anchorage. The facility housed 800 children. It was destroyed and torn down as it should have been in, I think, 1984. And I believe that facility was built in 1929, 1930. There were boys at this orphanage, and I had uh, some that were in this group uh, that I represented in that case. And, uh, but the, the, all cases are tragic. But the meanness of these nuns, it's just, you cannot get your head around it. It's just, it's just, awful and there was nowhere for these kids to go they had that any of them survived this horror and in those days a priest had 
the authority to look out in the congregation and, and go, I don't think you're doing such a great job, Mrs. Smith. You know, your husband left you and you've got eight kids. You know, I think I'm going to lighten your load. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have, have, you know, six of those kids taken to the orphanage. Gone. It was 